Hey, what's going on guys? So I wanted to do a follow up video on my how to use the Ryzen DRAM calculator video that I made about a year ago. Uh, I know there was some confusion there and there were a lot of questions about some things that I missed. So hopefully I can cover that up uh, with this video here. Um, let's go and just jump straight to it. Um, if you don't know where to get these two tools here, which you are going to need the DRAM calculator, obviously, and a Typhoon burner. Um, I get my software for this and, and, you know, like, like this sort of software from techpowerup.com. I trust them. They have you know, some trusted website. So just go here, download the calculator, install it. Uh, the next Typhoon burner, I already have it in my search history. So we go with that and you want to go to this and then downloads and download the free version here okay so once you already have these two tools installed the first one you're going to open up is typhoon burner and here you're going to go to read select that and this will give you essential information that you will need for overclocking your ramp so if you don't have this information you're going to be you know shooting in the dark so have this ready here and then get your DRAM calculator, open that up and just have it side by side here. That's just what works for me. There we go. Okay. So, um, I'll just click on that there just to, you know, this here uh, gives you your uh, current settings that you have for your RAM, but I think I'm jumping ahead of myself. So we'll leave that alone there for now. All right. So, the information that you will need number one is what type of uh chips what type of manufacturer you know who's making your ram is it hynix micron samsung nunya uh in my case i have samsung b die you get that information here okay and you need to remember that the other two things that you will need is your um your revision what type is it a a1 a2 a3 and whatnot or whatnot and, and also your rank because it's because it's going to ask you here all right so this is four things that you need to remember a manufacturer the type of uh die density the uh, revision and also your rank okay so now that you got that up you need to worry about the next thing is this is very important you have to figure out what type of processor and i hope that by this time you know what processor you have uh what generation it is and what motherboard you're you you know you have in your system because if you don't know that then this is going to be an uphill battle for you so are you running a 1600 processor are you running a 2600 processor a 3600 processor uh or is this a, a 5600x processor um, so you need to worry about, you need to figure that out. Is it first gen, second gen or third gen Ryzen CPUs? In my case, I'm running the 5800X. So this will be Ryzen 3. Unfortunately, this has not been updated to Zen 3 yet, but it is the same architecture, seven nanometers. So uh, as Zen 2, so this will be perfectly fine. It's, there's no need to worry about that. There's just uh, like. Uh, Zen 2 and um, yeah the next thing is your motherboard are you on a B350 platform B450 or X470 or a B550 or uh, X570 platform I am on an X570 platform but if you are on a B550 platform you could just select X570 they're very similar chipsets so just go with this here uh, this will work just fine for B550 as well all right um the next thing is uh you want to um uh, are you running two sticks of ram or do you have four sticks of ram i have four sticks so i will go with this here okay uh the next thing is um let's go to the information that we got from the typhoon burner now um let's fill these out so once we got this information let's start filling this out here I have B die, so we'll go with B die. Okay, uh, this here will uh, you could go the manual way, 
uh, or uh, let the system figure this out for you. Like, for example, you could input this information here. Okay, you could do that there. Um, but I figure that the best way to do it, and I'm about to get into that, is to upload your XMP profile onto the calculator and let, you know, that'll be a, that'll be a much accurate than just doing it this way here because this is pretty general. So we'll go with, we'll just leave this alone for now. Uh, memory rank right here. Okay, so put that there. And uh, okay, your, and also your uh, base clock you want to just leave this alone generally this will be at 100 unless you're doing base clock overclocking in your bios then you will adjust this score uh, adjust this right here correspondingly okay so um, yeah let's go ahead now and the next step that you would do now that you have these right here filled in with the correct information that you know they, they so far up top of your head you know you know this you input this uh, come back over here to typhoon burner and click on read um, or no not read sorry go to report and then scroll all the way down and then go to show delays in nanoseconds okay then go to export here and uh, you want to export the complete HTML file or HTML report. In my case, I already have it here. Okay. And you can select where you want to save it. I save it to the desktop. It's just easier for me. And then just click save. Okay. Um, so now you have the this right here in nanoseconds. You have all this information and all this all this your current settings um, in nanoseconds, which is what the calculator will need. If you see that there. Okay. So all right. So now you got the the data that you need out of this. You can just yeah, well, I'll leave it there. Um, all right, so now it's time to import your XMP profile. It's right there. Okay, so now it is imported. And remember, these are your current settings. This is my current settings for my RAM as I am running it right now in my system, okay? Uh, so what we want to do is, now that we have the XMP profile uploaded and the correct information here, you want to hit calculate okay so now this has calculated this has given you some some information here based on your current data okay so this is a lot more accurate than doing it the manual way or the other way around where you enter the uh, uh, PCB revision okay this is just a better way of doing it um, and uh, another thing before I forget this here is my megahertz overclock. A tip, if you are running an XMP profile of 3200 megahertz, for example, or 3000 megahertz, start with that. Start with 3000 megahertz. Um, I am overclocking already to 3733 from 3600 megahertz. So I am going to input what the overclock is for the RAM as I am currently or that I'm aiming for, um, I'm going to put that in here. And this will dictate, th this will tell you what the calculator calculates will be the safe settings according to what you're aiming for, if that makes any sense. So 37, 33, again, calculate. And now you can see, now you have a comparison between what the calculator recommends here and what you're currently running in your system, okay? So there you go. Um, and um, what you would do now is take a picture of this with your phone, all this information that you see here, okay? Take a picture of this and then reboot your computer, go into the BIOS and just input this information in your, in your, in your BIOS. One tip that I have for you guys is that um, I personally, even with the fast settings, safe settings, it doesn't matter which one it is. I stick with the safe setting. Okay. This is that's just what I do. I hardly ever go with the calculate fast. I just don't do that. Uh, safe setting for me is plenty fast. Believe me, it's just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> so um, the only other things that I do change is my voltage 
obviously you need to tweak out your voltage and my trfc so i leave my primary timings alone i leave these alone okay um and um i change my trc and my trfc these are the only two settings so i stick with safe and i change these two here okay this is the only the only changes that i make um in my case 50 was not stable so i had to go to uh 52 32 was, was not stable so i changed this to 36 um, but if you go to the fast setting here this is where you would you would obtain um those or you know these right here these three okay so i basically just changed i copied the fast settings for my tras and my trfc and my uh, I'm sorry, my TRC and my TRFC. This is from the fast setting. Safe settings obviously is a little bit looser, so I didn't want that. Um, and this works just fine for me. Um, actually, my voltage is set at 1.4 volts, so I didn't even have to bump up my voltage to the fast, the recommended fast setting is 1.45. No, I stuck with 1.4. And running at my running my TRFC at 298, and the current settings that you see here. Now the uh, Proc OTC and uh, your driver strength. These are other settings that I would uh, default to. If you notice that your overclock is just not stable, if you're seeing that your games are crashing or your computer is just freezing, you know, or it just doesn't, it doesn't want to be stable. Um, I would. The second step is I would go and. Um, change these settings in the bios um i leave these alone here i don't touch these i only change my proc odt and this believe it or not makes a difference also your driver strengths this can make a difference as well so i will stick with the recommended um and your uh fclk this is another thing that you want to uh, be mindful of now remember this is crucial you want to have this running at one one to one ratio so this is your infinity fabric and your uh, memory controller you want to have both running at a one one to one ratio if you throw that off you're going to get a latency penalty and all this that you just done it just goes out the window it's a complete waste of time so you don't want to do that if you just want to break records and show off you know hey i managed to get 5000 uh, uh, megahertz on my ram sure by all means you can uh, break that and you know do to one to two ratio whatever but if you want real performance real meaningful performance change or improvement then you want to run 1.1 1 .1 or one to one ratio um, on your uh, uclk and also your fclk okay um, and i can show you what mine is running at here this is on a cool uh two zen timings so yeah look this up this is very handy so here is here's what i'm talking about so i am running my memory clock is that remember this is ddr so you know dual uh, uh, yeah so you you want to uh, uh basically all these right here should be looking the same okay if you see that this is not running as this and as this here then you got a problem because now you're you're not in sync your memory is not in sync so in lemmy's terms so th that might be causing you instability or just latency period yeah, this is not worth it so you want to make sure that everything here is running one to one ratio especially these two so if you said if you do this uh two times so you know you know 1866.67 times two that'll give you 3733 um you know that's the memory that's my, my speed that i'm running right now 3733 okay and um your infinity fabric will always always be half of that so 1866 and your memory controller has to be running the same speed just remember that okay so but this is only if you're going over 3600 megahertz so if you're running at 3733 yes you need to go and manually change this or just double check that they are synced okay 
Uh, some motherboards let you adjust this, uh, other motherboards do not. X570 chipsets in general do allow you to make, uh, make you know, change this accordingly. So should be an issue there. Where I have seen that you don't get these options is in uh, B450 motherboards or B550 motherboards. Some do not. Uh, have seen, I have seen, seen some that, yes, they will let you uh, change the, your UCLK, which is really nice. But anyway, 3600 megahertz you shouldn't have to worry about this if that's the overclock that you're going for so if you're going with 3600 megahertz don't even bother with this because the motherboard in general typically um, does a pretty good job at setting your uh, your infinity fabric and your memory controller speeds um, at one one to one ratio it does that automatically but if you start going over 37 over 3600 megahertz then this will change this typically you want to go and change this adjust it manually anyway the one I keep mumbling along there but uh, anyway um, yeah so your voltage would be some of the some of the changes that you also have to make on top of your primary timings and again like I said before um, if you are just doing this for the first time um, the easiest way to go about it is just to leave your primary timings alone or change them according to what the what the rising calculator is telling you uh, your primary timings and then change your TRC and your TRFC okay the rest here I don't see any significant improvement by making these changes in fact I've noticed that you get instability even if you even if the calculator is telling you hey you know changes to this I still find a lot of times instability it's just it's just not worth it is you don't get and even when it is stable you don't get that significant improvement um, that you would get from changing your TRC and your TRFC. Um, this is the two main ones here that you need to worry about. And of course, your primary timings. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I think that pretty much covers it. But let me know in the comments if you think I left something out or if I misspoke again. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what I got. This is how I do this. This is what works for me. Um, and again, just make sure that you check to see which which I see you're running B die S die E die um, Hynix M A or C J R uh, Micron B die whatnot. So and also don't worry about the F R the you know the J R and all that. Um, if your manufacturer or your memory says uh, Hynix M, that obviously is M F R and so forth. Um, yeah. That's, I think that that's all I got, guys. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope this makes more sense than my previous video. Um, if you have any comments, any suggestions, I'm open to it. Any criticism, I'm also open to that. Um, but uh, I think I'll leave it here. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.